hello everyone welcome back guys hope you all are doing well this is mohammed badruddja and today we are going to solve the first lab from graphql api vulnerabilities so before going further this little disclaimer as always for you this video and its content are only for educational and awareness purpose and i do not support any unethical or illegal act that's been said let's go and we see what this lab is all about so accessing private graphql post the second thing agenda of this lab is the block page for this lab contains a hidden block post that has a secret password so this secret password is there somewhere hidden in the block post so to solve the lab find the hidden block post and enter the password and this hidden password is hidden inside the hidden block post so let's go we start our lab and first of all i am going to start the burp proxy on my browser and one more thing i want to mention here that in the previous lab or in the previous video we actually installed this inql scanner so if you did not install this please install this extension inql uh, extension in your burp suite because this is going to be uh, very much easier for you to handle the graphql uh, request and the queries and you can also scan the api uh, schema you can edit and you can manipulate the queries so burp suite is ready i'm going to just make it a bit easier for us to see both of the windows simultaneously so fine now burp suite is enabled i'm just going to hit on the home button so once i click on home button here we have many requests so i think this these requests from the mozilla itself so i'm going to delete these and these are the requests from uh, this target application so first of all i'm going to see what this application is all about so this is the blog page actually and we have some blogs uh, all right and we already capture this here so you can see this is the post request okay and in the post request if i see here and I scroll down this one you can see post slash graphql slash v1 so once i see this endpoint that means the application is talking to graphql so whatever request or whatever data they are going to uh, call all those requests are going to just one point unlike rest api because in rest api uh, for different different queries for different different uh, uh, data set you need to go to different different endpoints like slash employee slash product slash blog but here in the graphql all the requests you will see uh, going to any data set but it will access to uh, this endpoint graphql slash v1 so as you can see this is the query uh, get block summary get all block post and there is what it's calling it's calling actually image title summary and the id and the operation name is get block summary for the for this one okay so as you can see here there are some uh, regular expressions uh, slash n for the new line right and here in the response you can see uh, we have image field we have title field we have summary and we have id so if you see this response closely you will find there is id number one this is the id of the blog post so the blog post one get id one there is block for block with id four block with id five block with id 2 but there is no block of id 3 that means th that block could be the hidden block right okay this is the first thing this is very static uh, um, review you see the response closely second thing what we are going to do we are going to let's say here i am going to access this block okay so once i access this blog you can see we found one request here that is slash post 
question mark parameter post id is equal to one so this was the block one which i tried to access and we found this and here you can see we do not have any kind of query because this is not the graphql slash v1 endpoint so the next one is this this is another post request that is uh, going to graphql v1 endpoint so if i scroll down this request so as you can see, there is another query and this query is pretty different from the previous one, from this one. Okay, because in this query, I particularly called the blog that contains ID one. So you can see there is variable, variable is defined and the variable value is one. Now, this is quite uh, disturbing because the format is not good and you have to try harder to read or to understand this query although this query is very little in the uh, production environment or real-time scenario you will find two big queries so now I'm going to do what first of all I'm going to this request right click send this request to the repeater go to the repeater okay um, you can you can also use inql in the repeater and you can also use inql here itself in the request so once you click in the inql you will have two things so what i'm going to do let's say this so now you can see the query in the prettier format very clear and very crystal so query get block summaries and then get all blog posts and inside all blog post what i need i need to call these fields and here because there is uh, there is no variable so the variable is empty but if i go to this query where i actually try to access a particular blog post you can see get blog post is the query name this is query is the operation here it defines the variable and the variable is going to be in the integer format and this exclamation sign is telling you that this field cannot be null and then it is calling this blog post the argument is set the variable value is set here and it is going to call this and here the variable value is equal to one and now whatever you found in the response is all about the the particular blog post containing id one right now the thing is uh, there is one blog hidden but before going to actually that I want to show you something here in the repeater so you can also use repeater here uh, in QL in the repeater you can also use so you can see this this is the first one where there is no ID because I'm not trying to access the particular blog post fine but if I send this it will be there the response okay um second thing what i'm going to do here i'm going to in ql scanner and in ql scanner let's go to the proxy and this was the first request right I go to this uh, pretty format and i'm going to copy the url of this so the url is going to be something like this slash graphql slash v1 so now what i need i need to go to burp suite and go to inql scanner and here i need to uh, paste that right and hit enter okay it's loaded here and we already loaded this url so once you double click it you will find there is query okay this is the date of the query and this is i think the apostrophe time maybe um, but once you expand this you find two query api schema there so once you click on the get all blog post, you will find the query and all the fields in this blog post. So as you can see here, one thing to be noted that in all blog post query, you find one field which is post password and that field we did not find in the in these queries. You can see here there is no no so block summary get all blog post inside block summaries it is calling this all blog post so come back here in all blog post 
all these fields but here they just call what they just call image title summary and id they do not call paragraphs they do not call is private they do not call author or and they do not call post password so that means in these blog post there is one more field which is post password second query second query is blog post where we are actually calling a particular blog post with particular uh, id like id is equal to 1 and that also contain post password right but in this in this query in this query where we call id one blog post in that query they do not call post password right they do not call all the fields they do not call post password so here we cannot see any post password right in the response if i show you you can see there is image title author date paragraphs uh, okay but no post password so we come into the conclusion the conclusion number one is um, there is a post uh, there is a missing blog post and this blog post contain id is equal to three right because one is there two is there four and five is there but three was not there so this is the first thing first case and the second case which is very important is this copy and paste it here uh, there is a fixed id 1334 this is also interesting uh, we will see that in a minute and all post this is the all post query copy and i can put it from here okay now everything is very simple crystal and clear uh, but before going to solve this lab i also want to describe a bit in ql timer um, as you access or as you capture the queries in the burp suite as you send the query to the repeater all those query actually will be you will find all those query in the inql timer also like this so whatever query i found in the proxy whatever query i transfer to the repeater all those queries are here okay uh, that's good and you can actually filter the query you can stop the service proxy intruder scanner repeater all this and in ql attacker we will see that in the later videos but up to now i think uh, everything is good so i'm just without taking too much time i'm going to solve the lab now so going to proxy and this was the request where we call the id variable one the particular id so i'm going to send this request to the repeater now go to the repeater this is our query i'm going to inql and most importantly you need to remember one thing that you can actually edit this query in the repeater you cannot edit this value in the proxy so first of all you need to send this request to the repeater and then you will be able to uh, edit or manipulate the parameters or anything you want so the thing is there is one right we call the one first blog post and here we have the first blog post okay uh, to just identify uh, remember the title this is the first one and this is the second one fine this is the second one uh, third one was missing right so call the third one as you can see mike pleasure third one right um, fourth is there fifth is there now the thing is in the situation here they said the uh, hidden password or the secret password is hidden in the hidden blog post and the hidden blog post is the post number blog post number three so we already get that this is our hidden blog post but now still we do not find the password why because here in the graphql request this post password field is not added so i'm going to copy that come back here and paste that and just send this now one before going to send 
you can see all these fields are there whatever we had before here but not post password so now we added the post password also and we manipulate this variable send this query and this time we have my pleasure this is the third post blog post paragraph is there and we actually mentioned the post password in the last so we need to go to the last and here we have the post password so this is our post password but if i go to see the uh, blog post 4 uh, with id 4 you will see there is password is null okay so uh, this is the thing so in every blog post you will find the pass post password is null but in the previous request with id number three you will find this pass post password so i'm going to copy this back to the lab here we have the submit solution so i'm going to submit it just paste that click ok and we solve the lab really what was that submit solution let me copy this one more time copy come back here paste that click ok what was that um let me go back to home yeah we solved the lab so that's it for this video hope you understand hope you like the video please like subscribe and share and see you in the next video bye